So you have a Google Pixel 8 or the 8 Pro and you have an issue where you have a black screen. Even though you have a black screen, you know the phone is actually on. Maybe you can hear phone calls coming in. Maybe you can feel a vibration, your phone vibrating, notifications coming in. This phone is fixed here, but we're going to pretend I have a black screen here. Another way to tell if your phone is on, even though your black screen is off, if you go ahead and plug in your power cable, you should be able to hear that chime. Okay. Again, let's pretend my screen here is totally black. I'm going to give you guys several solutions right now that you can do at your home. And by the end of this video, at least 70% of you guys should be up and running. Okay. So first thing is this. If you guys have a case on here, go ahead and take the case off. Make sure that the phone is naked. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try a forced restart, okay? So we're going to pretend my screen here is black. So first thing is what you want to do is press and hold the power button and the volume up. Press and hold both buttons at the same time and keep on holding. And what you want to do is count to 20 seconds, okay? So pretend my screen here is black, all right? But I'll show you what it does when I press the power button and the volume up, okay? Ready, set, go. Press and hold both buttons. Keep on holding and count to 20 seconds. Pretend my phone here is black. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just holding on to these two buttons, counting to 20 seconds. 17, 18, 19, 20 seconds. Go ahead and let go and now just wait until it boots back up. So it should have turned the phone off and now it's going to be restarting and we should get a Google logo here. So just be patient now. Okay, there it is. And let it boot up normally and hopefully you are now out of the black screen. You still have the black screen, no problem. We're going to go to the next step. Okay, so next step, you still have a black screen, no problem. The first thing we're going to do now is you see the power button right here. What I want you to do is just spam it four times, okay? One, two, three, four. Don't do it more than four times because if you have your emergency SOS enabled, if you click the power button like five times or more consecutively, consecutively, it'll call your emergency services. For example, if you live in the U.S., it's going to call 911, so please don't do that. So power button here, we're going to spam it kind of hard four times, right? One, two, three, four. That's it. Just like that. Okay. Now put the phone down, grab your charging cable. We're going to plug it in, give it a little bit of power. And then while it's plugged in and charging, we're going to force a restart using that two key combination again. Okay. So pretend my phone here is black while it's charging power button volume up for 20 seconds. Ready, set, go. Press and hold both buttons. Pretend my screen here is black again. I'm just holding on to these two buttons, waiting, count, or, uh, trying to count the 20 seconds. All right, so keep holding here. 17, 18, 19, 20. Now let go. And same thing here. We're going to wait for it to boot back up. We should see a Google logo here shortly. Okay, there we go. Wait for it to boot up. And hopefully you are now out of the black screen. If you still have a black screen, no problem. We'll go to the next step here. All right, so you still have a black screen. No problem. So this time I want to go ahead and unplug your phone. Next thing we're going to do is what I call the tap method. What we're going to do is hold two fingers like this, and I want you to tap all over on the screen and all over on the back. The whole premise behind this is you might have a cable ribbon slightly dislodged that can cause the black screen, okay? So pretend my screen here is black. Hold the phone like this. Get two fingers. What you want to do is kind of tap hard all over, okay? Keep on going. Pretend my phone here is black. Sometimes as you're doing this, all of a sudden the screen might turn on. Maybe you'll get a half a screen. Maybe you'll get white lines. Just keep on going. All right, pretend my screen here is still black. Okay, nothing is happening. It's still black. Let me flip it over and do the same thing over here. Let's tap everywhere. Even or all on the camera lens. If you don't want to smudge it up, you can throw something on there but you kind of want to do it kind of hard too. And all around the, all in the corners here, just tap, tap. Do that for a little bit, then turn your phone over and then hit that power button and see if your phone is on. If the screen is on, if it's still off, no problem. Okay, from here, again, power button, volume up. Ready, set, go. Press and hold both buttons, keep on holding. Pretend my screen here is black. I'm just holding on to these two buttons here, counting to 20 seconds. 18, 19, 20. Now go ahead and let go. And wait for it to boot back up. We should see a Google logo appear. 
If you don't see a Google logo appear after like 30 seconds, just do the same thing over again, okay? Anyway, I see the Google logo, wait for it to boot up, and hopefully you are out of the black screen now. If not, don't worry, we're gonna to go to the next possible step. Okay, so your screen is still black, no problem. The next, this next step, what we're gonna do is what I call the smack method. Basically what I want you to do is grab your phone like this, put your palm out, I want you to smack all over on the screen and all over on the back. The same premise with the tapping method. You may have a cable, that, uh, a ribbon cable that's slightly dislodged, slightly disconnected, and a little, and a little smack, believe it or not, can pop it into place, okay? Anyway, let's pretend my screen here is black. And if you don't want to smudge up your screen or whatnot, you can hold like a cloth there. And then we'll start off on the screen. And you want to smack it kind of hard on the top of the screen. Also on the bottom of the screen, give it a couple whacks. Turn the phone over, tap that power button and see if uh, your screen is on. Again, you may have half a screen or you may have like white lines or you just may have nothing, totally black still, no problem. Then from here, we're gonna do the back side, smack the back side as well. Also on the bottom of the back side. After that, tap on your power button and see if your screen is on, okay? Again, you may have a half a screen, you may have totally black again, you may have white lines. If you have anything besides a full screen on here, then go ahead and do the same thing again with the two buttons, remember. Power button, volume up. Press and hold both buttons. Keep on holding for 20 seconds. After 20 seconds, let go, and then give it a little bit of time for it to boot back up and you should see the Google logo. And then hopefully, you now have a working screen. If not, don't worry, we're gonna to go to the next step. Okay, so your screen is still black, don't worry. Next step what we're gonna do here is what I call the massage or pressing method, okay? The same premise with the, uh, the tapping and the smacking. You may have a cable that's slightly dislodged, okay? So we're gonna pretend my screen here is black. What we're gonna do is press or massage it. You can put a cloth on there if you don't wanna like smudge up your screen or whatnot. But basically what we're gonna do is just hold the phone like this. What I'm gonna do is press with both of my thumbs. Press kind of hard on the screen all over, okay? Press between my hair, pretend my screen is still black and we're just pressing, 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 pressing. If you hear a little click, then just go ahead and tap that power button and see if your screen is on. Again, you may get a half a screen, lines in your screen or whatnot, okay? Anyway, you know, press, and you gotta do it kind of hard. Press, 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 or push, push. Now the same thing on the back here too, okay? You wanna go ahead and press it, press, press, press. All around here, all around the camera lens too, okay? You wanna get in the corners, press. All on top of the lens, press, press, press. If you hear a little, if you hear a little click around here, turn that phone over quickly, and tap on that power button and see if your screen is on, okay? If not, or if you get a half a screen or white lines or whatnot, no problem. Continue with the pressing or massaging on the back of the phone for a little bit longer. Then turn it over, tap that power button and see if your screen is on, okay? If, if the screen is not fully on from here, same thing again. Power button, volume up. Press and hold both buttons at the same time Count to 20 seconds. After 20 seconds, let go, and then wait for it to boot back up. You should see a Google logo, and then once it phone boots up, hopefully you're out of the black screen. If you still have a black screen, don't worry. We're gonna go to the next step. Okay, so next step. Now, you still have a black screen after doing all, this, all those steps. So the next method I have for you is what I call the freezer method. What I want you to do is grab your phone, just like this, nice and naked, put this into the freezer. Leave it there for 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 to 20 minutes, grab your nice cold phone, tap on that power button, and see if the screen is on. If it's not on, no problem. While it's nice and cold, do the same thing again. Press and hold power button, volume up. Press and hold both buttons. Count to 20 seconds. After 20 seconds, let go. Wait for the Google logo to um, show up. Then once the phone boots up, hopefully you are out of the black screen. Now here's the thing. If you guys tried all of these steps and you're, it's still not working, then what I would suggest is to do next, okay? First of all, if you guys have a screen protector, go ahead and take that off. Next, try every single step again, okay? Step one, step two, step three. If it doesn't work the second time, 
try it three times try it at least up to seven times you know a lot of times the seventh time for some reason is a charm the thing is you just can't give up anyway if you guys tried all of these steps at least seven times I'm gonna say at least 75 or at least 70 percent of you guys should now have a working screen so if it worked for you give me a thumbs up and please comment uh, which step or combination of steps you think worked for you so others can see as well okay good luck guys